Hi there everybody. Um, on my next video I'm going to be tackling the, um, the window regulator for uh, this. Uh, this is a 190E uh, 1988. Um, so basically this side and that side have stopped working. Um, but I just managed to fix this one up. And uh, I'm going to try to do the same work on the other side and uh, make a video. But basically... Um, one bit to remember is that uh, which I might not be able to film very well on the next one is this little clip this clip comes off of here um, and then it releases this white uh, piece here which attaches in here which holds the um, holds the window to push it up and down basically so now I need to refit this all this back but um, I thought I'll get a bit of a video of this bit here um, so I don't need to when I do the other side get a clear picture this is just clipped on there so I'm gonna start doing the next bit now the other door hey there everybody on this video I have this uh, Let's say this 190E, this is a 1998 and I'm just going to be removing this uh, rear door panel and also the window regulator because the window is not working um, so I want to investigate the regulator condition um, I had a problem with the other side, same, the window wasn't working and turns out the regulator was full of corrosion so I thought I'll make a video here now these are fairly simple to remove uh, we need a Phillips screwdriver for removing this little cover here And then we need to remove this cover here. That just pops out. And in there is a 10 mil uh, bolt. So that's the 10 mil volt. And now I'm going to slide this to remove it as well. This uh, little cover here slides to one side. And you can bring it out. So slides that way to come out and then we disconnect that's for the door for opening the door and then you have that out um, and on terms of disconnecting things that's about it now we just need to basically lift lift the door up Just do it gently. So it's just all hooked on on different holes, but it's just it's hooked into the the door. So we have to pull it up and try not to uh, pull this way because uh, this might break. And then we have the window switch just here.
I'm just going to use a, a flathead screwdriver here to take it apart to disconnect it. Uh, but just be careful not to touch the contacts because one of these might be a positive. So. Now we're gonna we're gonna need to remove uh, some of this uh, cover here. Just do it gently so you don't rip it off. But some bits may rip off because it has been here a long time. So. Okay, so I think I just need to open that much, and that's the uh, window reg regulator. The motor is here. Um, the bolt from up here is the one that holds um, the regulator here at the top. So that one is off already. Um, now there's another 10 mil there, and there are three. 10 mils, 3 10 mil nuts just there that we need to remove. Okay, all of that is off. Now, uh, since I can't move this uh, window down, um, there is that little clip we need to remove to disconnect um, disconnect the regulator from the window. And that uh, little clip is the, the one I showed at, at the start of this video. So, I won't be able to film it because, I, well, I've already filmed it at the start of the video. But it's just up here, and since we can't move the window down, it's a little bit harder to, to do, but it's doable. Um, it's easier to do it one of these. So, now that everything is loose, that is uh, the only thing we need to disconnect. Another thing I would suggest is if you put a little bit of tape at, at, on the window here, um, to go around here at the top then that would be a great idea because once you disconnect the regulator the window can fall <laughs> and you don't want to damage anything okay so I just got a bit of tape up there hold the window and uh, now I'm going to remove that that little bit I've got the little plastic disconnected uh, but another thing you might struggle with it's basically to dis disconnecting that bit there so this little hook is inside of the door and uh, we need to lift the regulator up in order to get it out so it can be a little bit uh, a tight to do it but 
again the way I did it it's basically so I'll try to focus on the whole thing here um, so all the nuts and bolts are out we want to disconnect the regulator down here Down here the regulator is also hooked into the door, so you need to go back. And now this is now this is free. And we basically need to push it up, upwards to disconnect it from here. So I'm just gonna use a screwdriver here to help me push it up. Okay, so that's out now. Now I can slide the regulator out because the little plastic that retains it in there is not... I've disconnected it. has been disconnected the regulator can come out but uh, the wiring here is holding it and for that we need to open this switch here again make sure your uh, ignition is off before you disconnect that because sometimes some of those wires are Life, so I'm gonna focus a little bit on that switch. We just need to open this little cover. So be careful with all of these, try not to get touch them. This is uh, this brown one here is the earth, so as long as that one isn't touching anything. Uh, basically we need to pull these contacts out so we can take the cable out. Yeah, so we can get the regulator out. And to pull this out, we just need to open this little, uh, these bits here. Make a note which one goes where. So you could just maybe take a picture.
That way you'll remember. Now we can uh, we can get the regulator out. Now I can already see a lot of uh, corrosion in there. So I'm assuming this will be full of um, corrosion inside. Um, on the next video I'm going to dismantle this completely and we'll have a look at it. But um, in any case I've ordered another one so I can fit in there. So anyway, if you need to get your panel off or remove this to replace it, then uh, this is how you can, you can do it. So hope this video helps and uh, thank you for watching.